one week from today, all right, one week from today, February 24th, 2022, 10 a.m. U.S. Central Standard Time, all right, keep that in mind. But first, let's rewind back about 100 years or so. During the summer of 1919, there were a group of black sharecroppers that were looking to form a union, a farmer's union. Lo and behold, the authorities found out, they investigated, and what followed suit was something unimaginable. There were a number of authorities that were shot. Several of them were killed, and upwards of two to three, I've researched even over 700 blacks were massacred. That includes men, that includes women, and that includes children, okay? This became known as the Elaine Race Riots, okay? The Elaine Massacre the Red Summer of 1919, the Blood Summer. And of course, the NAACP became aware of this. A number of reporters were sent to this area to report on this matter, and a group of attorneys were assigned to this case. One of those attorneys went by the name of Scipio Africanus Jones. He came in as an assistant attorney and actually ended up being the sole living surviving attorney, the chief attorney, to see the whole case through, okay? On that day within the courthouse of Elaine, Arkansas, as you can imagine, it was standing room only. Oh man, outside, surrounding the courthouse, in the streets, on the courtyard, there was a mob, huge mob. There were onlookers, there were rioters. They were waiting to partake. They were waiting to have their say so within this matter, okay? It narrowed down to a group of 12 sharecroppers. This became known as the Moore versus Dempsey case. Moore versus Dempsey, you can research this. Okay, and Scipio being the tireless, um, very perceptive worker that he is, an unbelievable worker that he is, he saw a plain in sight wording, a plain in sight visual, a loophole, you might say, within the U.S. system of law. Okay, and I, this is a, you could say a phrasing. The phrasing is known as due process. Of course, in the past seven to ten years, we've all heard of due process, meaning fair process. Okay. Scipio had filed an appeal to the, filed an appeal and had reached out to the U.S. Supreme Court. The U.S. Supreme Court had a 6-2 decision in favor of those defendants, okay? They overruled the state court of Arkansas, in Elaine, Arkansas, okay? Thus extending those sharecroppers' lives, okay? And eventually, later on that year, within the fall, those sharecroppers were freed from prison. But keep, but keep in mind, Scipio was physically not allowed to enter the courthouse during that time, okay? So he had to interact from another location. Fast forward about 100 years or so into our modern present day times, in, 2020, in 2017, there was an, an, a trial lawyer, an attorney by the name of John Gill, who wanted to commemorate Scipio Africanus Jones, okay? And what better way to do so than have a piece of artwork commemorate someone's legacy, an oil portrait, an oil painting, there is, in almost in most ways, no better way to do so, okay? Um, John Gill had met with Garbo Hearn, the director at Hearn Fine Art, and they had narrowed down their selection of artists to yours truly, okay? All three of us met, and I eventually presented a sketch to the two of them. That sketch of Scipio Africanus was presented to the law firm that John Gill worked at, and that team had collaborated with French Hill's team, French Hill being the Republican, the acting Republican rep U.S. representative in the state of Arkansas in the United States. They had put that together and created a, proposed a bill that passed through the House, passed through the Senate, and it was signed into law December 2nd, 2020, by the then acting President Trump. That bill became a law that is known as the U.S. Bill H.R. 3317, Public Law 116-198, okay? And written into that law is yours truly as being the acting artist to execute that oil portrait, that painting. So, yes, this is a, an unbelievable honor to be a part of this moment. Um, so within that, Thursday, February 24th, 
2022, 10 a.m. U.S. Central Standard Time, we, myself included, complimenting the, the whole event. Um, this will be held at the Scipio Jones uh, Post Office Station on Main Street in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, it will be presented by French Hill and his team. Uh, the law firm that represents John Gill will be there. Garbo Hearn, the director of Hearn Fine Art, a host of media, um, a host of print, and um, a number of people will be there and to recognize this event. Uh, this will be an unveiling, okay? An unveiling of the portrait, okay? There will be, there, if there is not any live streaming, there will be coverage and documentation immediately following. But in that event, um, as, if, and how, and when, and if there is live streaming, I would like to invite each and every one of you to follow my page on social media. Um, if you are not aware of all the social media links, you can just go to wadehampton.com, scroll to the bottom, and there are various icons which display the social media pages, okay? Once again, this is a great event, um, a stepping stone, um, within things that are happening today, within things that have been happening for years. And I'm just grateful uh, to compliment uh, this all together. So uh, thank all of you for taking the time out to hear my little verbiage. And I hope to see all of you anytime soon. And please stay tuned for the coverage from here forth. Thank all of you. See all of you soon. Take care. Adios.